up, Tyrex? Hey, what's up, man? So, so I hear that, and I did talk to a couple people, and I did hear that you hate your guys just as much as I do, and you want them gone just as much as I do. As a matter of fact, I do. Well, I was sitting down thinking about it, and I got a fucking plan. Okay. You're good at promoting stuff, obviously. You know how to bring in a crowd. I have these guys' as info and all kinds of shit that I can damn them. Okay. So, yeah, well, like, what kind of information do you have on them? I have their phone numbers. I have text messages from them. I got all kinds of shit. Okay. Um, are they like text now numbers? Text now, regular cell phones, you name it. Hmm. Yeah, see, here's what I'm thinking. You're good at drawing in a crowd. I'm good at getting info from these guys, including their stream yard link. One, right. of, one of them right now, Metal Gear Rax, he's actually live right now. You want to know how to know? I was just backstage and I confronted his ass a few minutes ago. Um, what, 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 what's up? Oh, the usual shit. Fucking commenting on old videos and the typical shit. Hmm. Yeah, so I, um, like I communicated with Michael a little bit ago and he was telling me, yeah, he was putting out all your family's information and everything. He's doing that. And let's put it this way, dude. It's not just that, it's bad, dude. These guys have put it to the point to where this shit does not stop. My family's going to end up being homeless because our landlord's probably going to end up kicking us out if this shit don't stop. Which mm. means if we get kicked out, we have nowhere to go. We're fucked. Yeah, that doesn't sound optimal, that's for sure. No, it don't. That's and that's why when I'm thinking... You draw these guys in. I draw these guys. We both draw them in. We call them the fuck out. Because what these people have done, dude. Let me show, let me show you. I don't think you've seen the photos yet. At mm-hmm. all. Or at least showed you. But has Michael showed you the photos of what they've done to our house? Um, Some of those have, have crossed my path. Yeah, like with the fence being knocked over. Yeah, they've done that. They posted uh, slanderous signs about me, which the two I did find. I found the one that was by our neighbor's house and the one they had posted up across the street. I ended up ripping that down and grabbing the one that was by our neighbor's house and whatnot. So I did grab that. But these guys are so stupid. They literally tell me their fucking plan and what they're planning on doing. What are they planning on doing? Their ultimate goal is to have either my family be homeless, buy the house from our landlady, or do something to basically completely ruin my life and my family's lives and my friends' lives. Like, they're literally doing everything they can to basically try to shut me down for good, which is why I'm going to make a proposition to you that I think you'll actually like. You help me get these guys shut down, to the point to where I'm able to start doing my shit and making a living again, I'll team up with you and allow you to do reviews on my channels and shit and anything really you want. Like any of my videos that you want to do videos on, do reviews on, reactions to, you have my go-ahead. You have the green light to do so. Okay. I, I mean, and again, like I, I know what it's like um, for these cyber cretins to Try to deprive you of your income, and it's very, oh, very dude. dude, these guys have done more than just that, dude. I've actually looked into it. These guys, these guys have committed so many fucking crimes that literally they have actually taken, like, you know how, like, sometimes, like, you'll take, like, audio clips and you'll chop it up, but, like, you'll play it back separately to where, like, it's not together and shit. You'll do it on, like, on a soundboard type deal. And don't think I don't know about that soundboard, because I do. Not going to lie, that was pretty creative. Yeah, yeah. Got what, that. what they'll do is they'll take the audio, they'll chop it up, and they'll send it to the police, making it sound like I'm attacking them, which is why the police here have not done anything about it. The other day when my family confronted 
uh, the whole situation with our fence being taken down, and the officer that was out here was basically saying that, you know, oh, I start a lot of the shit that goes on, and he's seen the videos, and that's not when you and I both know that that's far from the fucking truth. Yeah, but by the way, the officer uh, who I've been in contact with, his name's not R. Truman, it's actually Trumaine Riley. Um, like, oh, even wow. the, uh, he's like a very uh, fit toned black guy, Trumaine Riley, R I L E. Um, and you know what? He doesn't, uh, he's not very big fan of yours. You know, I don't think the African PDR is a whole. Yeah, you know, this way, dude. It's because, and I know why too, is because of all the police reports that we made. Dude, I found out that we've made, in total, because of all this shit, we've made about 113 complaints, but yet the police aren't doing anything. That's why me and my family are working on a way to handle this in the legal manner. Let's, let's just put it that we are working on a way to handle all this shit with them in the legal way. Because like I said, like... These guys, they're, I'll give them credit, they know what they're doing. They know how to get information. You've seen 113 reports just this year? Yeah. Wow. And, and most of them were on these fucking douchebags ever since they showed up. So, like, about on average, you call, like, a little less than once. One, like, you call daily, basically. Almost, if not every other day. And most of them were for people showing up trying to take our stuff, uh, ripping the fence down, uh, fucking doing all kinds of stuff, dude. And it's not good. And I don't get it wrong, I did see Tyler's video, which, by the way, Tyler, you know normally me and you have our beef, but dude, good work on calling those motherfuckers out, not gonna lie. That was actually a bold ass move, not gonna lie. That took yeah. balls. That actually took balls considering the damage these guys can do. I will give him that. That was pretty fucking ballsy. But I do know for a fact that you and everybody else that normally, you know, takes shots at me for, you know, whatever reason. You know, like I said, your reasons are your reasons. It is what it is. I'm not going to dive into that. But I do know that you guys have just as much hatred for these guys as I do and as my family does. That's why I say we take the fight to them. We get the info that we can. We feed it over to YouTube, or at least feed it over to Michael. And from there, he can do what he needs to do. Because if these guys don't stop, one of two things is going to happen. Either my family is going to end up taking legal action and forcing the police to do something, which we really don't want to go down that road, but it's getting to that point where we're actually working on going down to like a prosecutor or like a district attorney or some shit like that. Mm -hmm. Or we can go about this the peaceful route and YouTube can permanently ban them for good for the shit they've done. Because I have tons of text messages of them attacking my friends, family. They've somehow really gotten my friends list. We don't even know how, but they managed to find like a whole bunch of my family. These, as you know, are our own or are all probably already aware of uh, happening. My mom ended up changing her number recently. And yeah. within a day, they fucking found it and started attacking her all over again. It costs money each time to change your number too, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I'll, so be honest, I'll be honest, dude, like... We're just barely getting by on rent. So we really don't have that kind of money. Like, granted, you know, I should be making that kind of money considering all the work I've done. But given the circumstances and what these people have done, it's it's not looking good, dude. Like I said, I've, I've heard and seen the messages between you and Michael. And, dude, I know for a fact you hate these guys with a fucking passion. A burning passion, and I understand what it's like to struggle. Like, um, for example, like yesterday, um, you know, I look. So I, I need, I need my liquor, I need my cigarettes, and um, you know, I, I, 
Well, I, I guess I did DoorDash the liquor, but I had to go out and get my own cigarettes afterwards. And it's like, right, you know, like not trying to like tell you what to do here or anything like that, but just as a thought because I have watched people go down that road. Have you ever thought about getting help for your alcohol shit and like trying to? No, 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 not really, not really, not really, no. Um, I'll, like, I'll, I'll be honest, dude. Like going down that road, but take it from me, dude. I watched my dad go down that road, dude, and. Look where he's at. He's practically got nothing. And I'm telling you right now, from experience, mm-hmm. you have a, you have a chance to switch this shit around. You really do. Like you, you can easily do well. Like if you got off the liquor and off the booze and got a clear head, dude. Okay. You, like you can do so much shit. Because like I said, I've watched you for a while, just as much as you've watched me. I oh, paid wow. I paid attention to how you work and dude. If you got off the fucking liquor, dude. You have a fucking, I'm not going to lie to you, you have a fucking brilliant ass mind when it comes to bringing in views. Like, you're on top of what brings in views. You know how to draw people in. You know what to do. That's why I'm saying we need to draw a crowd to these people and make it known what they're doing. By any chance, like, I guess the first step is meaning of a problem, but then usually you have to go and get a sponsor. Um, Would you be willing to be my sponsor? Absolutely, dude. Like, if you need any instrumentals or anything or whatnot, I'll be glad. Yeah, I'm saying, I'm saying, like, as, as far as the booze goes, like, I'm saying, like, somebody to like guide me down a, a healthier path. I can't necessarily sponsor like that, but you know, as a person that's watched family go down that road and has had friends go down that road, I'll do what I can to help you out. Like, I'm not saying like I can like. You know, go out and you know do this and that and the other. But I'll definitely do what I can to, you know, help out for sure. As far as like trying to keep you on the right track, because like I said, I've watched family go down that road too many times. And honestly, dude, like I said, I get you know why you do it. I get it. We all have our reasons. We sure. all have our demons that we battle. So I get like why you might do that. But yeah. like I said, dude, just, just do yourself a favor, man. Cut the crap, dude. Like, cut the booze out, man. Because, like, on average, how much do you spend on booze in a month? In a like, month? Like, if you had to... Like, if you had to... Like, dude. You, so, like, I'll, 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 let you take a, I'll let you take a stab at, at the number, and I'll tell you if you're high or you're low. I'm honestly... I honestly am not sure, dude, because I don't know how much you drink in a day or in a week. So, I honestly... Yeah, yeah. So, in a month, like, all right, so let me ask you this. How much yeah. do you drink? How many bottles or bottles? Do you go through, like, one single bottle or multiple in a day? Yeah, I, I, I take a bottle a day, thereabouts, yeah, I, yeah. Oh, about, about, a so, about a bottle a day, and how much are you so, usually yeah. drinking? So, yeah, it's a $25 bottle. I get them door dashed, so it's like about, like, 40 bucks um, times 30 days. Now, think about that. Think about those numbers. Yeah. All that money that you're doing, that's money you can be saving for yourself to actually, you know, do stuff with. Like, you know, upgrade your stuff and actually do well with it. Uh-huh. That's, why, that's why you're stuck. Is because uh-huh. you're not, you know, and I get it. Alcohol is a very hard thing to get off of for some people. I get it. I've had to, you know, work with friends for a couple of years you know, talking to them and, you know, trying to keep them going and, you know, just re- being a friend going and letting them know, like, hey, don't do this shit, you know? So yeah. I get how hard it can be. Like I said, I watched my own dad that was in the military basically throw his fucking life away because of those. And that's why I mean him no longer speak is because of that. Yeah, so... Which does, which does suck, but it is what it is. But... Like I said, dude, if you clear your head up, man, I know you got some ideas floating around up in that head of yours. And sure. like I said, I honestly feel like the first step to putting a stop to these guys, yeah, shed some light on what they're doing, man. Draw the bigger channels into what they're doing. Yeah, it looks like what usually gets me is like, so like YouTube is is my like sole source of income. Yeah, and yeah, like- and, I, and I get that, dude. Like, and I get that, dude. Like. You did other jobs for a while, and then you ended up finding out that you have a niche on YouTube. Now, 
too much money. It's really too much money to turn down. But like, so just hear me out here. Like, and I hope you don't take this the wrong way. But like, watching you do the same thing and say the same thing every day after day after day, it's like how, it can be mind numbing sometimes. And it's like, yeah, exactly. And like, yeah. Right. And that's where I was stuck mostly. Like, and I will admit, like, I'm not trying to bring up old shit or you know, press hard feelings or anything. Yeah, that's okay. But, like, you know, whatever you were doing, what you were doing, and this and that, and da da da. Like, in my head, because I had never dealt with anything like that, I didn't sure. know anything of how to deal with that kind of stuff. So it was that constant repetitiveness of, you know, how am I in this? Like, how do I get out of this kind of yeah. deal? And with these guys, they basically take in that same thing and have ramped it up so far, like I said, to where these guys basically think they're untouchable. Like, these guys literally think that, you know, oh, if you do this, this is going to happen, and you're going to be homeless. Like, they literally think that they're invincible. They think that they can't be touched. Yeah. I feel like with you, and much like I say, Wayne Glory Hole, as knowledgeable as he is, I think mm-hmm. between you guys and Tyler, we can bring these motherfuckers down. Because like I said, I've got their numbers. i got multiple numbers, actually. I have screenshots of text messages. Well, i got text messages on my phone that I do still need to screenshot. I've got all kinds of shit, dude. And you and I both know that, you know, you never really meant to, you know, get me off the internet like that. And I get that, you know, you wanted me to be able to make some sort of, you know, income off of whatever it was that I was doing. But these yeah. guys coming in and doing this shit, that not only fucks me up, that fucks my family up entirely. Yeah. Because, like I said, they somehow or other got their hands on my family members' names and shit, which that's scary in itself. Like, that right there is sketchy as fuck. But they somehow or other have gotten my the names of some of my friends on my friends list let's put it this way dude within the last i'd say month do you want to know how many facebook's i've went through within the last month i'd say six six maybe actually yeah about six seven different accounts because these guys would report it for dumb stuff which would get me you know shut down my kick that i was making money on they're the reason why I'm not on that one anymore. They're the reason why I had to make a whole new one, which, granted, yes, I am almost back up to where I was. But the fact that I'm having to constantly start over and over and over and over, like, it's getting old, dude. Like, I know that, like, you're wanting to move on with your life and, you know, do whatever you're going to do or whatever, and that's fine. I'm over here trying to do the same thing, you know. And like I told these guys, you know, and I know that this is kind of digging into, you know, our situations and the shit that we've done to each other and you've done to me and whatnot. It's like I told people before, you know, if people would just leave me the fuck alone and let me do my shit, they would see how successful I could actually be. So, so like, yeah, so, like, okay, I know you have, like, these people's phone numbers, but let's say that we're able to take those phone numbers – and, um, you know, either get them chased off YouTube or even locked up. Like, how would things play out? I'm just curious. Like, how would you see them? Honestly, what? because um trying to think what I'm thinking. It's because you got a few people that are slick. I know you got people in your arsenal that are super slick, that mm-hmm. know what they're doing. What I'm thinking is doing to them, like, like, you know how, like, what you did with me, right? Like, how you got somebody into my friends list and shit, right? Like, a while back? Sure. What if we did that exact same thing to them? we get somebody on the inside that they would never suspect. We haven't played out like, you know, like, they hate me like I'm a horrible person. But on the inside, they're actually grabbing evidence for us. And we can use that, send it to Michael... Michael could then take that evidence and report it to YouTube and they would be done. Like they would be they'd be gone. It'd be over. 
Okay, like what would stop them from making another account, though? The fact that, because um, I don't know if you know this, I just found this out today myself, but, and I'm not trying to, like, go at you or anything, but I know why you're on your wife's account. Yeah. That's the why. It's because YouTube now has this new policy where they're not taking shit from no one anymore. Like, Is that they, like policy, like, like we're just going to take shit from anyone anymore? Well, not exactly, not like, not in that aspect, but like, if you're caught doing something that you shouldn't be doing, or they catch something on your channel, your channel is gone, and they are working on stuff like what these people are doing to me and my family, um, they're basically making it to where if you get caught doing the shit that these people are doing, they're going to be starting, I don't know how soon. Or if it's already been done, I'm not for sure. I'd have to check on that. But from my understanding and what I found out, is that if you get caught doing that shit, you're not only banned from your account, once YouTube finds out what they're doing, they're going to be IP banned. Like, they're going to be done, and they're not going to be able to make another account. Yeah, it definitely seems like YouTube's on your side. Like, anyone who makes videos about you gets their channel taken down, like, literally every single time. Well, that's not on me. That's actually friends and... No, yeah, I'm not... I'm, I'm not... Yeah, like, I, yeah, I get where you're coming from, yeah. yeah. Like, I do get where you're coming from. That's why I'm saying, like, you hate these guys just sure. as much as I do. Like, I was trusting it. I've read the messages. I Michael's told me about it. So, trust me when I say, I know how bad you want these guys shut down. That's why I'm saying... I, if you guys can draw these motherfuckers out, like, have Tyler keep calling them out. Keep on getting their attention. Okay. If you can draw them out. Or, hell, even do like you did with me to them. You know, get them on your panel. Start taking fucking shots at them. Get multiple people on panel and take shots at them. Mm -hmm. Just, like, call them call them names, basically, and be like, let's all point at these guys and laugh. And right. Like, you know how, like, what you did with me, how you fucked with my head? Like, you have to be more specific than that. Like, like, what are you referring like, to? There's the shit that you would do. Like, there would be some things, in life, which I'll admit, there were a couple things that you would, you know, get me tripped up on. I would have a comeback for, but it'd be kind of like, damn, I wasn't actually expecting that. Okay, this guy wants to go that route, okay? We can go that route. Like, you know what I mean? Just do, like, the stupid little things. You know what I mean? Like, do the stupid little trivial things or start backing them into a corner. Start asking them specific questions. Like, you know, try to get them to spill their guts. Yeah, yeah. Well, for sure. Um, so, I, I mean, I don't know how you feel about this, but I do feel that, like, CVG is saying he's going to be there every weekend to beat you up, right? In which he's never shown up. Exactly. Like so, I, I mean, I would say that you beat him like at least six weekends in a row now. Yeah, like, and I've told him, my like, dude. And what he does is he doesn't show up himself. He sends somebody out here, which I, love, which I will admit, dude. And the aspect of between you and him, I'll admit, dude, you were a bigger man and actually showed up. He doesn't show up. This dude. Uh, yeah. And, you know, it took it took a very big man and you to show up as well. Like I was not expecting it. You know, I thought you just hide up there. And um, what ultimately made you change your mind this time? About what? About the shit that's going on? Yeah. No. Like so. You know, you you were, um, you know, like you were saying that like uh, that like I actually showed up. And I'm saying that you actually showed up the last time too. Like I wonder what like. What got you to that point? Was it just like enough's enough? Yeah, pretty much the fact that I had enough of people running their mouth and saying that I won't do this and that. So I was like, you know what? These guys want to keep running their mouth? All right. You say I won't show up? Watch me show up. Because trust me, I was paying attention to the stream, not fully, but on and off, I was paying attention to it. And that's when I was like, you know what? Fuck this. Enough's enough. I'm tired of these people saying this shit. You know what? Time to go back to my roots and show them that I'm not afraid to show up. 
No, that's that's for sure, man. Like you, you came there like you know, like a bat out of hell, and like you know, I could see it in your eyes. Like you're you're ready to, you're ready to do the damn thing. That's more admirable than than you know these guys just saying they're gonna show up every time and never showing up. Like they, people used to give you a hard time for that. You guys be like, you know, like, you know, well, Cyrax, like, so what, why don't you come here? Why don't you come here? And like you're saying, why don't you come here? And he just never does, you know. Exactly. It's like, dude, you tell me that you're going to come down here, but you never do anything to show up. You talk about being down here, but then you make that excuse of, oh, I have to drive eight whole hours. Dude, yeah. all, right, all right, honestly, Marty, how far would you say that you lived away from my house currently? Man, about the same distance, like thereabouts, like give or take. Exactly. You actually showed up. This dude's a fucking joke. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, like when he actually showed, and look, so the guy that he says um, is like taking your stuff, like I know who it is. He sends me the same stuff. Like CVG likes to take all the credit for it. Um, right. But yeah, it, it's not, it's not the case. Like um, I'm, sure Wayne, I'm sure Wayne gets the same stuff from the same guy. But like you know, so, so these guys are doing this not just to me, but to everyone else. No, it's just you. It's it's, it's just you. Um, but like they send they send like the the pictures of the stuff and yeah. Uh, oh, okay, I thought you were saying like they send people to your house and shit. I was about to say like no, no, no. No, um, no it's it's pretty much only you that I'm aware of, anyways. Because I know, because I know, Michael said that they are going after other people as well. I don't know exactly. Yeah, the, the furniture guy, he he doesn't go after anyone else. Like he's pretty much like he operates independently. It's not like he's like CBG's associate. Like yeah. he sends the same stuff to uh, to me, and I'm guessing William as well. But what about that Metal Gear Rats guy? What do you make of him? I don't know much about him. I don't know much about him. Like I, I can't tell you much about this guy. Um. What, what what can you tell me about him? Like I'm not honestly asking. just from the little bit that I have talked to him, he seems like a cocky ass motherfucker. It seems like he's got his fucking head on too tight. Mm. The dude, like he acts like he's this almighty savior of like, oh, this guy's a bad dude. This guy said this and that and da da. And and I will admit there were certain things that I have done and said. But what this guy don't seem to get is that all that shit that I said and did was out of either being pissed off at the situation or being backed into a motherfucking corner to where I had no choice but to fucking lash out through all the shit that I've been through. Like, what do they expect? It's like, it's literally like backing an animal into a, into a corner. You back, an, you back a tiger into a corner and you keep poking at it, you're going to get scratched and or mauled. Yeah, and like they might do like peculiar things, like some might consider abnormal, and like you know, that's only because their head's so messed with. Like you know, and granted, you know, like I said, you know, and I know I've said a lot of shit and done a lot of shit that may not have been the best judgment, but what do people expect when you're thrown into a situation that you know nothing about? You don't know how you got there, and you don't know why these people are doing what they're doing. Like, with you, over time, I kind of figured it out, and I was like, all right, now I know what this dude's about. Now I know, like, how... Well, so, so, can you explain that to me? Like, like what do you, what, what is your understanding of, like, you know, my drive, I guess, to, uh, to go after you? Money? Clicks? Views? I mean, I was going to go with asking a deceased ex for naked pictures after she died, but... Well, um, I know, like, either. Uh, like, like I said, you know, you know, that's all, you know, old stuff. And I get, you know, where that would come into play for you. But like I said, you know, because of all the shit that had gone. Hold on one minute. I was right back. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right.
12. Um, hopefully I got a new sponsor here. So hold on, White Bowser. Relax, relax, relax. Just relax. I don't know what you people define as a long game. Or like what duration that would consist of. Uh, okay, in truth, I don't know how much this I can stomach. All right. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Nobody gave him a hundred bucks, I don't think. Well, this weather is a little bit gray today. It's a little bit gray today. No, I don't think so, Crocs and Capris. I, I do think that it was noble to try to help me with my alcoholism. Um, uh, and it's, tr it's truthful, like watching me do the same thing every day is mind numbing. <laughs> at, at this point, that's how it feels. Three hundred, a hundred legal eagles are the worst kind. I'm not sure entirely what, like the plan of action is here. Like, so he's got the phone numbers. He's gonna call. He's gonna make another police report, and and then the problem solved. I mean, there's got to be something more to it than that. Like, I, I think that's been tried before. In fact, I've seen it been tried before. Thank you very much, Marishi. Uh, I think it'll be a little longer than that. Um, thank you to Crispy. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'll ask him that for sure. Um, I don't think he was. Um, I don't think he was scared of IP2. Th those, those guys, as far as I'm concerned, are the ones who need to be targeted. You can smoke my new luxury apartment. Actually, no, I can't. It's also smoke free. And here's the fucked up thing. Like, I remember like when I, when I checked the place out, like I asked about the smoking policy, and like it was like, well, it's just something that we have to say. So, 
yeah, as far as we're concerned, it's a no smoking community. And then he gave me like the biggest wink in the world. Um, and, and then on my second day here, like I got a call from him saying like, you know, like, so people are complaining, people are complaining, people are complaining. I'm like, what do you, what do you mean, dude? Like, what do you mean people are complaining? Like, so what if they're complaining? Like, you, you gave me a wink, like a, a giant wink. And, and, and basically, uh, like, applied that, you know, it'd be fine. So, like, I don't even know what the fuck that's all about. No, it's, uh, no, no, he, he likes you. It's not what it is. That's not what it is. It's not what it is, but no, no, stop. He, he was trying to say that like, that, look, and I don't even understand uh, why they would even want me to like um, sign a lease and, and like sell me on it. If they just know that you know, people are complaining, it's crazy. It's crazy. Some issues, William, one big issue, but the rest of it's really cool. Um, it's kind of like, it's like a fucking Jetsons spaceship. Yo. Yo. Sorry, I had, I had to make runs around the house because CBG and I were, were talking about hitting the back of our house and I tried to make sure that nobody was out there. But this is been yeah, my life. It's, it's no way to live. Yeah, it's crazy. This has been my life for the last few weeks, dude. My mom's barely slept. I've barely slept. And it's fucking tired as fuck before he goes to work because of it. Like you said, you said it perfectly. This is no fucking way to live. No, like constantly. Like, I remember, um, I don't know if you're still talking to her. If you are, I don't want to say anything bad about her. But, um, you know who the one uh, with the best is. Yeah, she said, like, you had to, like, um, like you would take out the trash at like 3 a.m. just to be sure that like nobody would, would, would get you. Like it's insane. That's insane. Like, yeah. And she's not wrong, dude. Like I was up and down all night long, all night long, over and over and over. That's been my life for the last couple months together, these people. And this is no way to fucking live. Because I'll admit, dude, like when I first started music, that's how I was. Like, and a lot of people don't realize. Just how much I was pushing my body to the point of shutting down. And I'm not even joking when I say this. When I first started music, this is just to give you an example of what they're doing. When I first started music, I was sleeping maybe three to four hours in an entire week. The rest of the time, I was up just constantly just go, 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 go. And then when I finally did crash, I would sleep for like two, three days at a fucking time. And then I'd be right back up again, just go, 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 go. And I did that for so long that I ended up having to go to the doctor. My mom ended up taking me to the doctor to try to figure out what was going on. The doctor gave me six months before my body would have started shutting down. It's amazing. I would sleep 45 minutes a night for like how many nights and then sleep for two or three days. Yeah. Like... I was I was not doing well. Like my sleep was oh man, my sleep was terrible. Like it's gotten better over time, obviously, and thank God for that. But now it's to the point to where I'm having to be up almost twenty four seven because of these people. Well, Ed sleeps. Me and Mom are up during the nighttime. He's up during the daytime when he's off, or during the daytime. When moms crash out, I usually keep an eye on things. And, like, it's, it's crazy. Like, this isn't living. What these people are doing is making my family's life a living hell. They're making my life a living hell. They're making it hard for, you know, friends of mine by attacking them and obviously doing what they're doing. Like security? And, oh, 100%. 100%, yeah. dude. Like, yeah. It, unfortunately, his dad. Does, you know. Unfortunately, his dad does not like me at this point because of this, which ain't fair to him because you know, like he obviously everybody knows that you know me and Jake have been good friends since high school, obviously. Yeah. But because of that, like Jake's dad's not a very big fan of me right now, 
And I'm hoping that by, you know, exposing this shit, you know, not only can, you know, I show him that this ain't me doing this. Like, that yeah. was not me doing this shit. That wasn't. But also to try to get back to some sort of fucking normalcy. Yeah, I mean, and, and like, you know, it's... If you just don't want me to say, like, um, you know, the the D word that rhymes with your name, like, I won't. But like, that seems to be what people are doing this for. And... Yeah, I know, and I, and I see. I know what's going on and whatnot. And, you know, and that's the whole reason why they're doing all this, which is honestly, too, because, like, I did a forum once before already, but apparently that wasn't enough. Apparently they want more and more and more and more and more. Their whole thing is this. Their whole thing is the whole, oh, you're going to do this. You are going to do this, or this is going to happen to you. And it's like, dude, that's not the way reality works, dude. Like, you got to keep that with the reality. Like, they're, they're going to keep making that with the reality. Yeah, I know, and that's the thing. That's why my family's, like, trying to jump on this and put this to a stop. Because, like I said, at this point in time, my family stands to lose our home at this point because of these people doing this shit. That's why, like I said, I talked to Michael and I like, you know, what he came up with because it, there's an old saying that you might, and I'm pretty sure everybody knows it. And there's two different versions of it, which is the enemy of my enemy is my ally. And I figure if we team up and shut these guys down, we both win. You yeah. get rid of them. You get rid of the guys that you can't fucking stand. I get to save my family from being thrown out. And in the long run, you get to make content on me all you want. Yeah. So, um, yeah. But, hey, unfortunately, man, I do have to doubt stuff. But, yo, talk to your guys. Set some stuff up. Get your mic on. Yeah, so, like, just really quickly before you go, like, so. Oh, okay. Um, all right. Uh,